This is an extremely simple helicopter I made that has only one moving part. It's lots of fun and a little bit dangerous. As I record this, NASA's Mars Ingenuity helicopter is gearing up for its very first flight on the Red Planet. Ingenuity was developed as a coaxial helicopter design, which is pretty simple, relatively speaking, but other design options were considered. Perhaps a much simpler aircraft might have been inspired by nature. The simplest helicopter in the world is the auto-rotating helicopter seed developed by nature. This seed rotates around its centre of mass as it falls from a tree to the ground. I've had a go at building a few helicopter type flying machines before, but only a few were truly successful. Putting health and safety aside, this single bladed helicopter flew very well and was surprisingly easy to fly with only a single axis of control, which is up and down if you hadn't guessed. But how might I improve upon this design? I've come up with a new, much stronger version of my single-bladed helicopter that can be easily adjusted in between flights. The pitch of the wing, for example, can be changed by hand to find the optimal angle of attack. I wanted to build a helicopter that you could build too, so I opted mainly for 3D printable components and strong carbon fibre tubes. I printed the central hub of the aircraft on my Ender 3 3D printer and a bunch of other hardware to go along with it. I soldered a powerful brushless motor to a speed controller and mounted these on the motor arm. As mentioned, the helicopter only has one moving part, the motor. Increasing its speed increases the speed of rotation, making the thing go up, basically. These spacers grip down securely on the arms when the bolts are tightened. I can also change the position of the motor arm to see if this has an effect on the flight performance. Although for now I just wanted to get the machine flying optimally in a standard configuration before breaking it doing something silly. A wing was cut from lightweight Depron. The previous helicopter featured a fixed stabilizer wing that helped to pitch the machine. After reading a little online, it seemed a stabilizer of this sort was a little unnecessary, so I did without it. To finish off the helicopter, I immortalized the names of my Patreon supporters on the underside of the wing. I've made the files for this aircraft available on my Patreon, so you can download them, print them, and make your own and see if you can get it working better than mine. It's on there for free, you don't have to sign up, but if you'd like to support my projects, and help me to develop bigger and more impressive things, then I really appreciate the support, so thank you. While I drive to a suitable test site to fly the helicopter, it's time for a quick ad from the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Did you know that two out of three men experience some kind of male pattern baldness by the time that they're 35? I actually know quite a few people who are suffering from this um, at my age. Now, this is what Keeps is all about. You want to prevent hair loss while you still have hair to, uh, to keep, hence the name, Keeps. With Keeps, they provide hair loss medication every three months directly to your door so you don't have to go to the pharmacist or anything. If you're wondering about the science behind this hair loss treatment, Keeps provides two of the only FDA approved hair loss medications that are available, but generic versions of these. So you actually get a completely legitimate medication at a good price. Prevention is key and hair loss treatment usually takes between four and six months. So this means that you want to act fast to keep as much of your hair as you have already. If you're ready to take action and get 50% of your first order, then head over to www.keeps.com forward slash project air. That's www.keeps.com forward slash project air. So yeah, there's a link in the description. Go down there, check it out and get yours. So does this weird looking thing actually fly? Initially, I tried spinning up the helicopter with the wing set at a low angle of attack. That didn't seem too promising, so I decided to alter the blade with a more aggressive pitch by loosening a screw holding it in place. Perhaps the helicopter just needed a little more lift, not more speed. Aha! It did work! 
success. But this was short-lived as I soon discovered my chosen method of launching the helicopter from a tripod was a little unreliable. <laughs> it turned out that this was due to the balance. As you can see, the helicopter looks to be perfectly balanced on the pole when at rest. When rotating, however, it seems completely out of whack, throwing the tripod from side to side. This is because the centre of rotation and the centre of gravity are not in the same point. They're actually separated by around 2 centimetres on this particular aircraft. This relationship is key to how the helicopter remains stable. I could have simply drilled another hole at this fulcrum point, but because I'm me, I instead took the opportunity to try out a more freestyle approach. Right, let's try that again, and uh, I'm going to try and remain uninjured. The wind's picked up a bit now, so that's going to compl complicate things just as I've seem to have got the takeoff sorted. I don't know where we're going to be blown to. Not having any three axis control on this, it's literally just one axis. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, no, oh no, not the fence. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is not where you want to go to. Yeah, hopefully this isn't damaged. Ooh, the wing's seen better days. Hmm, wing doesn't feel. That wing doesn't feel too uh, like there's too much life left in it. You know what? I'm going to try something that I've wanted to try for a while. I'm going to try and hand launch it. That's right, hand launching. This should work a treat. Maybe I should stick to only hand launching aeroplanes and not helicopters. I'm going to have one more go. Uh, this thing's starting to fall apart, so I don't really want to overdo it. I should encourage you to go and check out what other people are doing with this particular aircraft concept. People have gone far further than what I've been playing around with here, enabling full three-axis control using flight controllers and control surfaces. Maybe you should check out the videos I've linked in the description to see that after this video. Or maybe you could just go and watch a few more of mine if you're new to my channel. This helicopter isn't the only sketchy thing I've done recently. If you'd like to see more of these sorts of projects and you'd like to keep updated with what I'm working on, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks especially to my Patreons for supporting my video making and these experiments. Um, you make all of this possible, of course, um, and I, I thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you on the very next one.